Hi, welcome to Armouts. My name is Ray Miller, and what you're seeing is beamed wrapped beams. And we're using uh, um, the wood, and then we're going to wrap this to make it look like uh, real wood. And so we're using, um, well, actually, today I'm actually at uh, uh, Bowl City uh, Designs, and um, we're in uh, North Carolina right now. And it's going to be wrapping this. I'm going to show you this is actually uh, 10 foot beams. And I'm going to show you the way I wrap it and everything. And the material we're using is Belbian. And it's SW140. And uh, that's what it's going to look like when it's done. This is before. And we actually, let's see if I can show you real quick. Make it completely smooth and flat. And to, uh, because it's going to go basically on the floor. And we got the, let me show you real quick. These are the small ones, and um, and they're, they I just love the color, the the gray look. Also, uh, I'm going to show you how to. This is actually one vinyl up to here, and another one right here, and we're going to use sandpaper right here to show you. And it's perfectly cut, so it makes it look great. This is actually the back side. This is going towards the the window side uh, not as detailed as the front let's make that on there okay okay um, so on the other side on this side right here this is at the perfectly smooth I'm going to so I might lose a little bit of audio right here the last video I did I put in my the phone in my pocket and it shrunk down to nothing and I no one can see anything so I'm going to do another video. Okay. So the tools I'm using is actually at um, their bodyguard uh, double cutter. And this is a, a bodyguard double cutter and it's the other tools. And this is a great for tacking it on at, and I'll show you right here. So I did a cut, it's about 10 inches, and what you do is I just tack it on to the surface and make sure everything looks good before I really tack it on. And actually, let me move, move this beam over a little bit. Hopefully you can still hear me okay. Okay, so here's the, the part of tapping it on. And forgive the audio. I just want to show you what it looks like, uh, how I do it. Okay, here we go. So what I'm going to do is, it's about a half inch overlapping right here. I'm going to be contis continuous half inch all the way around. I'm going to tack this bot strip. Okay, it's about a half inch over here overlapping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it straight. I'm going to lay this down about a half inch. I'm going to grab this bottom part. There's a picture there. See the bottom part right here? And I'm going to tack it on. And I'm going to use my hands just to get it on there. And it's going to be looking a little bit. There you go. Okay. So it's not. It's about half inch there. So I'm not, not happy with okay, I'm going to lay it down now. There you go, half inch right there. See, that's the beauty of tack, using this one inch tack, what I call tacking it on. So I just, if I need to readjust it, I can. 
Okay. So I got two inches on this side, two inches on this side, half inch over here on this side. So now what I'm going to do is pull the backing off. Put it down below. Gonna lay it on like that. Next, I'm gonna use a squeegee. I'm gonna do like a 30 degree angle, like going this way. And I'm gonna use my hands just to lay it down just a, just a little bit. So I'm forcing the air bubble this way. Hopefully you can still hear me good enough to know what I'm talking about. But you can do it this way or if you have another way it's better, go for it. If you've got any comments or questions, comment down below and I'll answer you after I get done uh, doing the video or later on today. Okay, next. I'm pulling it down about five inches. bubbles on it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm using this hand to just get close to the edge and I'm using this hand to tack it on. And I like using my hands instead of the gloves because I can actually feel how sharp this edge is and also where, see if we can feel where the bubble, if there's any bubbles on there. It's hard to fill bubbles with the with the gloves. I'm trying to get about an inch down. Just enough for it to tack on. I tack it on. Okay, so what I'm doing on this right here, where it's lifted almost straight up and down. Check my Okay, now I'm going to be flipping it. Oh, 
the vinyl's kind of relaxed up here. Now, what I'm going to do. If you see any air bubbles right here at the edge, you can push it down. nugget right there. I'm going to lose my audio real quick. Just test it. Now, 
so there's like a little, little baby lip right there because I went straight up and down with the knife. And that's just basically shaving off the edge right there. All right, if you got any comments or questions, comment down below. And if you want to get a hold of me, you can always call me at 208-696-1180. Email me at rmraps at gmail.com. If you're looking for this kind of material or any kind of material, uh, you just go to rmrapsstore.com, and you can see the Dinoc and Bellevue material. And this one, again, is SW140. And if you're looking for, or if you want to see more of my other projects that I've been doing, uh, like this, or yacht wraps and stuff like this, I'm putting a lot of my adventures on the um, armwraps.com website, and it's usually on the bottom of the website, and you can see that. You can see where I've been and everything all around the country. And again, I'm in North Carolina uh, this week, and then I'll be back in about a month uh, finishing on the, the upper beams, and that'll be another video for that. So stay tuned. I got more projects coming, and uh, talk to you later.